Okay. Back to little goody two shoes. After some. Whoa, that's not the right button. Come on. There we go. After. Finding some weird things in the bottom of the windmill. I gotta go. Little goody two shoes. Investigate. A date. Yep. Rosen Marine. I'm gonna need to do work at some point. Just hope it doesn't coincide with a story beat. Feels like somewhat time limited. It's very strict on what gets done each day. There she is. Look. For goodness sake. You and that goat of yours, Rosemarine. There's no need to be jealous. I'm not jealous of a goat. <laughs> Isn't she, Flock? <laughs> How would you like to sleep with them out in the granary, Rosemarine? <sighs> I'd have Flock to hold close. It wouldn't be cold at all. <laughs> For goodness sake. <laughs> uh, Flock, don't get so close to the edge. Flock, don't jump off the fucking ledge. You can see everything from here, can't you? I suppose. Are you right, Something's on your mind, at least. I can tell. I can't even be left to brood in peace, can I? I'm going through some changes, that's all. <laughs> some changes, you say. Your path will become clearer and clearer, you'll see. Aren't you a little too cheery? It almost feels like you're mocking me, Rosemary. Come now, Elise, give me your hands. Rose and Marine! What are you... <laughs> oh, jeez. You're going too fast, Rose Marine. We're approaching the full moon, Elise. You know what that means. How would I know such a thing? It's time to celebrate new beginnings. I'm here for you, Our new beginning together. For goodness sake! What new beginning? You're not making sense. <laughs> following your dreams, Elise. The fulfillment of my purpose, too. Everything's coming together just the way the stars told me it would. Rose and Marine! <laughs> we ought to celebrate our good fortune, Elise. Wait! You're spinning too fast! Are you right, Elise? <laughs> For goodness <laughs> sake! Flock was happy oh, she sorry. found out. granny like this every month, and I... You swung your granny around like this? Of course. of course, every month! You're truly... Whether you believe me or not, Elise, let me put it this way. You see that castle in the distance, don't you? Yes. It may seem far away from where you stand now, but... The stars are even further away, yet they still guided me to you, didn't they? You're not making any sense. Are there any other places with pretty views in Kieferberg? Mm. I suppose the windmill's not bad. <laughs> Will you meet me there tomorrow afternoon, then? I see. A new beginning together, she says. I'm sorry, I... Hmm. I'll be there, Rosemary. We'd best head back now. Guess all I have to do right now is work. Ask Eugene about the key in the afternoon. 
towards the nighttime at least. Evening? I think it's afternoon now. I'll get an opportunity to get some money. As it stands... I've only got two more to do with her. I have a lot of healing, but only so much food. Didn't I pick up a purse? I guess not. Let's see, I do not want to help with the chickens. Guess I'll play with the kids then. That mini game sucked. Where is she? Now that I know what that means... Is she right here somewhere? She's around here somewhere. Oh, there you are. Mommy. It's you. That's enough. I'm not giving you one more crumb. Oh. But you promised. You promised me some like I promised you nothing, Mercy. You know. Folks already think it's strange, Elise, that you knew about the crumbs since yesterday. That's so. You know what? Why don't you go ahead? Who's to believe a scrawny little squealer like you, anyhow? Well, Jokin does, at least. Mrs. Sweetlade does, too. Oh, do they? What are you telling them, then? <sighs> that I saw you talking to th those crows yesterday. There was a golden one, too, wasn't there? Mommy. So, wait, so sh Oh, wait a minute! Hold up a second! That means that shit was real? Huh. <laughs> Following you about town is truly so much fun at least. I just know you have the little kooka and you promised me tucked away somewhere. Fine. Lower that suspicion at least. All right. You keep your mouth shut, you hear. I don't want to add any more to these folks' imaginations. <laughs> Why? But, but they're not imagining anything, are they? Shut it! Shut it, Muddy. Not one more word about them. Uh, no. Keep quiet, but I was wondering. Huh. I gave you what you wanted, so go away. All right, but why don't you bring me some hearty soup to me? Out with Ugh. it! I gotta feed myself! Ridiculous. This is tiring, Rosemarine. Asking about town, you mean? No, I don't think we can count on that. I should have chosen my words a little more carefully, I suppose. That's all right, Elise. We'll find a way. It's a little too late for that, Rosemary. If only I could turn back time and attempt it again. Either way, at least folks are rather restless. You haven't been asking about town yourself, have you? No, of course not. All right. Well, I'll call for you if I need you. I'll be here, at least. Is that supposed to be a hint of, hey, you fucked up, go do it again? I'd rather not. Hopefully I can get some decent money from this. Come play Kiss the Rat with us! Aren't you sick of folk? Not anymore, I've been at home resting all day! I'm gonna have to eat some bread after this. Two extra- I don't have that. game. 
It's more like a hot potato, but... Alright then. That was pretty decent at this one the first time. Wow, I immediately boned that. I'm good at that one. <laughs> More S ranks. That might have been a better score than the first time, too. Money, money, money. There you go, off to bed now. Not a chance, we're playing hide and seek next. Could have this. Where'd these kids get 60 bucks? <laughs> Not sure this was worth risking Apple's help. Oh, wait a minute. That icon's the, the well. The washing. <laughs> oh, boy. are still out in force. Oh, Freya. Party soup. That's what she wanted. Mm. I'll buy one more grape juice, but then I'm also gonna buy... You know what? Another hearty soup for myself. Always completely broke. Freya in the village. No, oh, that's still filled with water. Come on, don't have just bugged out and soft locked me. Oh, I did so much work. Come on. What a stupid soft lock. What a completely asinine soft lock. No, don't make me restart! That's so much progress! Come on! Oh, man. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, picking things back up. I tried actually going back to the well again. It seems at this specific time of day, the well just will softlock you every time. So... Because I've bought everything and I should need food for now, I'm gonna go on a date with Freya. There she is. <laughs> mm. 
enjoying yourself, are you? Elise! Oh, Elise. <sighs> I'm so glad you're here. I was losing my wits. Now that you mention it. Mrs. Wilma's been giving you a hard time, I wager. <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but she can be a little pushy. Huh. Ill-bred and ungrateful. That's what she is. Oh, Elise. <laughs> Kieferberg would agree with me, and you know it. Sit now, let's stop talking about Mrs. Vilma for a second. <sighs> you put up too much of these folks nonsense, Freya. I don't have much of a choice, the way I see it. Yes, you do, Freya. Folks have always praised me in left and right, at least. I can't help but feel I ought to live up to their expectations. Well, that's... that's not a good idea. You don't have to live up to anything, you know that. I wouldn't understand, Elise. Huh? <laughs> Daisies truly do suit you best, don't they? For you keep avoiding the subject, Freya. <laughs> Not on purpose. <laughs> Very much is, Freya. You know it. I know it. I know. I've always been ashamed of what I did, Elise. What the fuck did they do? What? What? Folks kept pitting us against each other when we were children, and I... What? Mm. I have to confess. <laughs> the eggs you picked for Mrs. Bertha that day, I broke them. I broke them on purpose. <laughs> eggs? Oh, what can we do? I made a mess of her laundry that day, and I was so afraid. I, I had her give you an earful instead so she'd forget about me. For goodness sake. <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry. sorry. I did so many bad things back then. Blaming you for my blunders, getting you in trouble at every chance, telling the townsfolk you weren't capable, so they'd ask for me, and... I see! Said it's alright, Freya. <sighs> I didn't understand how I felt back then either, so I... She was picking on her because she liked her. I don't want any of that against you. But when you said I was overcompensating, I... You know... I understand, I... Freya. I know how you feel now, alright? Elise... Things are different now, aren't they? been spending more time together with being honest with each other. Elise! I like being your friend, Freya. Let's put it all behind and... Friend. Oh, jeez. Oh, Holy crap, Freya! Maybe I should have been going for her instead. Jesus. Holy shit, lady. Oh, it's wonderful. I love spending time with you, too. I've always wanted to get close to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, but we're truly friends. I'm truly so. Oh, I'm so happy. Freya, I had to said this a lot sooner. Where'd she get this strength? Freya, dearie, how are the wreaths coming along? Oh, it's Mrs. Velma. How are you so strong? Before I go, Elise, I'll be home all afternoon tomorrow. <laughs> I'll, I'll be there. Freya! I'm coming, I'm Mrs. Sorry. Vilma. <sighs> For goodness sake. I think I'd better sit down a moment. <laughs> God damn, lady. Night time. Have dinner with Rosemary. I guess I'll have to ask Eugene about the key later. Before I can touch anything that might soft lock me, I'm gonna go save. Taken by the crows, but now best not jest, old lad. What about you two? Still worried about the crows? Wish they'd leave already, that's what. They're just resting here, I'd say. They didn't hurt anyone or try to steal anything else. It's not as though they necessarily had to, Mr. Bernard. Doesn't sit right with me, is all. 
Speaking of which, I'm concerned about Eugene. He's been rather cheery for someone who's been robbed, don't you think? I'd say he seems fine to me. It looks like him, Elise. Oftentimes they're misleading you to think they're in good health. What makes you think that, Mr. Wilhelm? Eugene isn't one to share his thoughts, Lass. The lad's the same as always, as though nothing happened. We must make sure he isn't left on, on his own for long stretches of time, lest he... Lest he what? What is that implication? Can I interact with it now? Okay, I think this is just going to straight up soft lock at this point. Okay, one second again. Okay, back to it. Which is to say pick up my free bread and then go finish off the day I guess and of course they're gonna complain about Rosenmarine there you are lassie huh we need to have a word with you Elise a word with me you say your cousin's been going about town spreading nonsense Elise such as why saying the crows are nothing to fret about for instance and they didn't do anything. She's a kind soul, Mrs. Elma. She isn't afraid of any animals. On the contrary, I see how that might be true, at least. But still, we're to be wary of such things. Not make little of them. Why? Why being friendly with animal? What the fuck? I don't understand witch fearing shit like this. Like that's not even a witch thing. That's just bah. That's not all, lass. She's been asking about Apple, Apple's fever, you see. She's a worrier, Mr. Ludwig. Everyone's worried about Apple. Why shouldn't she be? Well, that's a fair point, Denise. I don't think there's any point in making too much of things, Miss Elma. It's dangerous. Now to make certain I bring Rosemary to work with me. I'll have to deal with this every day. I'm not doing that when I don't have the food for it. At least my suspicion didn't go down. You... Oh, please don't... At least don't tell my auntie. What in the Lord's name are you doing out here, Melly? I've had it with her, Elise. She always wants me working all day. Perhaps she needs your help, Mindy. She only likes me when I'm working. Why do you think I'm always sneaking around? I'm not too certain I believe you. Golly, Elise. I was hoping you'd understand. It's not that I don't, but you won't tell my auntie, will you? Not after what you've just told me, no. Still, you'd best not try her patience too much, you hear? Since you like me so much, won't you give me some? No. <laughs> You don't have to, Elise. What am I to do with you, Lovecoopin? At least tell me you'll get a good night's sleep tonight. If nobody else breaks into a fever, I might. Here's your bread, Elise. What's on your mind, Lovecoopin? Things that would upset you, Elise. I'm not certain you trust me at all. I trust you enough to not ask you about it. I keep coming back to this, Lib. If there's... I meant it, Elise. You don't have to tell me. Whatever it is, you can't tell me. I won't pry. You trust me that much, huh? Even if you truly were the witch. Go ahead. I mean it, Elise. I trust you'll tell me in time, whenever you're ready. You're truly tired. For someone who's so attentive to others, look good. You're not. I'll see you about town tomorrow. For goodness sake, you're so stubborn.
Oh boy. Jacob. Please come quick. What's the matter, Jacob? It's Ethel. He's gone missing. Oh shit. Oh, please come quick, at least. We must go and look for him. That's right. We can't sit about waiting forever. You know, I... What's going on here? Apple's gone missing, Elise. <sighs> Hopefully the lads will find him on their patrol. They will happen upon him, I'm certain. I don't know he's missing, Father. <laughs> oh, man. By the time they're back, my poor boy could have... We all need to remain calm. Calm, Father? My boy is missing! Lord knows if he's all right, let alone if the worst has happened. We all knew those crows were an omen. Not this again, you old wretch. Ought to have taken the land of the witch. What a horrible thing to say, old Jokin. You old geezer. You truly have no decency. You. That's enough. You cannot give in to hysteria, brother. Who would think the lads went out in search of crows? The crows were a threat, lass. That's it. I'm going looking for him myself. I wonder if he's in the woodlands. Anyway! I'll go. Everyone was shocked at that! Let me be the one to go, Miss Lisbeth. Mm. It's best we wait for the lads. I can't allow... Oh, will you really, Elise? Now there's a brave lass. Oh, but Father Hans is right. It's dangerous. Leave it to me, Miss Lisbeth. Oh, Elise. <laughs> I do not condone your disobedience, Elise. I do! <laughs> Fuck you! Someone's gonna go look for him! For Angelica's sake as well. Truly, the poor lass cannot be without a mother. You can lend a hand with whatever you need, Elise. Give me bread. Give bread. You best make certain you have enough food and matches, dear. I'll be here, Elise. Let me know when you're leaving. Positive outlook, Mrs. Lisbeth. I thought you didn't condone my disobedience, Father. My duty is to care for my brethren as well, being the least. You ought to be aware it is dangerous. The last couldn't bear the thought, Father. We can't leave Apple roaming the woods all by himself. Lord knows how sick he was yesterday. If that fever were to strike him again in those woods, I'll make certain I find him, Mrs. Lisbeth. I appreciate it, Lisbeth, but if you find it's too dangerous, at least we'll find him, Lisbeth. We must trust the last. Here you go, Elise. Please be careful. Hell yeah. Free ointment. We'll make certain to send the lads after you when they arrive. Don't wander off too far, you hear? Thank you, Liz Elise. I wasn't expecting you to volunteer, of all people. It was rather brave of you, Elise. You couldn't sit still and do nothing. Why, how fearless! Truly, with all this talk about the witch and whatnot, if only the lads were in town. Who knows, we, they might find him out about. I don't even know to look for Abthol, Elise. It happened nonetheless, Mama. Do you have everything you need, Elise? I believe I do, Mrs. Ilma. Why don't you take this? Oh yeah, free stuff. Bandages. Oh wow, they're giving me a lot of healing. Don't expect any charity from me, Lassie. Uh, you, you got anything for me? First it was that awful fever, and now this. Mrs. Lisbeth looks horrified. I can't even imagine. I can only hope he hasn't in, broken into a fever again wherever he is. All you can do is bring him back to Kieferberg as fast as you can, at least. There's only so much one can do, after all. Oh, I wouldn't know what to do if this happened to me. You'd best keep a close eye on Maggie, Mrs. Lorelei. Mary? She can look after herself just fine, Liz. 
Better than most folks here in Keeperburg, I'd say. This is Lorelei. Poor Mandy's still a child. Oh, there's so much you don't yet, don't yet know about her, Dorothy. Such as? She wouldn't let herself starve, for starters. <laughs> Blackmail the shit out of people. Let me go with you, Elise. You're not going anywhere, Jacob. I'm a man, too. Apple needs us, Granny. Elise doesn't need you getting in her way, eh, Jacob. Your mother's right, Jacob. I wouldn't get in the way. I wouldn't. I can't look after you and myself at the same time. Do you understand? Oh, but I wouldn't. You must trust Elise, Jacob. I know you're hurting, Jacob. But she's right. Mama. I'll do my best to find Jacob. I prom find, find him, Jacob. Give me more stuff. Maybe it's best one of us goes with you. It'll be fine, Mrs. McTill. You can always change your mind, Elise. The Coohan's right, Elise. Who's to go if I don't, for you? Well, that's... There's, I, I think one of my problems with the writing of this game, they say their names way too often. It's like every other sentence. I don't know if that's like a... I don't know if it's like time period accurate that people would just say people's names while talking to them constantly. It's a good thing that you followed Tyr, Elise. You're a capable lass, I'm certain you'll find him. Thank you, Mrs. Arianne. I'm wondering how we didn't notice. It's no use blaming ourselves now, Mrs. McTill. The children told Mrs. Dorothy they lost sight of Apfel. Sometime before nightfall, it seems. Apfel was feeling alright. It may be that... What, Freya? Perhaps he felt ill and didn't want anyone to fret? Oh, don't say such a thing. Apfel couldn't have wandered too far anyhow. It'll be fine. Apfel got lost somewhere. I'm certain that's all there is to it. May the Lord be with you, Elise. Oh, time to investigate the woods. You! Did you see anything? This is Lorelei. Soft lock reducing my time. Whatever. <laughs> 